Hey, this is a tutorial on how to use Photoshop, and it's my first time with ScreenFlow, so kind of bear with me with this one. It works with, you know, Mac OS X, which is what I'm using now, or Windows 7. You know, Photoshop is Photoshop. So I'm just going to be teaching the basics because, you know, it takes people a long time to figure it out. So, let's go on Photoshop. I have CS5. Jump, jump, jump. Okay. So, like, I don't like how it's set up on the Mac, really. How it's all blank. But, um, let's just get, like, a random picture from the internet. I don't know. Let's look up wide angle. Save that picture to my desktop. Now go to File. Don't go to New. Like never go to New unless you're actually going to start from scratch and you're not going to use like the picture. So I was going to open and start the picture from there. Then open. I don't like how it's like this, you can still use the background, so I go on here and click this. It's much better in my opinion. Okay. So, let's say for cropping, basically, you're going to use this tool right here, the rectangular marquee tool. And then just select whatever you want by like holding down the mouse. And then if you just want to select that, then it's like already selected. So then you right click on it and do whatever you want. You know, you can make a new layer. Photoshop works with layers basically. So for example, say I just want to cut this and I just want to mess with this other picture. And like, you know, not with the background. I just use layer one and I can put like a filter on it basically. and just do that and then to undo anything I do command Z which is control Z on Windows and a lot of people what they like doing is like cropping you know selecting like let's say just a dog and then like so you can go to the quick selection tool and you can make it smaller so it's more accurate it's like by pixels so then you just like hold your mouse and go around the dog and it does the selection very nice if like you want to like adjust it you can always minus it and then you know hold the mouse and if you're still not happy you right click and then you go to refine edge and from here like choose smart radius and it'll like just bring it up and it'll choose like the surroundings much much better and I always put this to one because it makes it way smoother and then you go to OK same thing right click layer via, via cut now you got the dog on its own and I'm working with three layers right now so you can take that lock off the background you right click it and go to layer from background and just go to OK. Now you can mess with it as well. I guess a lot of things that people like doing too is messing with the colors. So you can go to edit, I mean image, my bad, adjustments. Let's say you want to make a dramatic look to your picture. Then you go to black and white. Just leave it as is. Go to OK. See now the dog is in black and white, but everything else is in color so that's how you do it I mean if there's any more you know you want me to teach you how to do something like for example how to turn the lights on on like a car you know stuff like that then just tell me I mean it's pretty simple I can even show you right now I think it's on fibers no my bad it is And then you basically, this is like a glare. So let's say the eyes. 
So you just grab that little crosshair with your mouse. Just put it right there, see? <laughs> you can basically do that with, like, um, you know, anything really to make the sun effect or anything. But if there's any other, like, basics that you need to know, you know, then just request them. But this is pretty the basics, you know, how to open a picture, how to cut it, how to edit it. Just very simple stuff and just request and I'll keep making more videos.